there, young adventurer. You say life in Westeros has become boring for you. You say there are no more challenges for you. Well, there may be one. However, I dare not speak it. No one who's attempted to overcome it has lived to tell the tale. It stopped these two great warriors in their tracks. If only they hadn't been foolish enough to try, then maybe we could have gotten the greatest fight in all the world. The greatest warrior in Essos versus the greatest warrior in Westeros. But this burger made sure that duel never happened. Don't believe for a second that Drogo was killed by some fucking boo-boo and the mountain was killed by some Martell pipsqueak. It was the damn Valor Morghulis burger. I shouldn't have said its name. Well, you've heard of the damn thing. I might as well tell you a bit about it. It was conceived by a mad chef known only as Dave. Who was he, you ask? Some short, fat fucking lunatic. He would just build greater and greater burgers till he created this unstoppable terror. What happened to him, you ask? Well, he had his balls cut off and was burned alive. Pretty standard punishment for one who creates a damned dish. It's statute 56035.6c in the Seven Kingdoms Code of Justice. I am one of the few that can give you knowledge to make the damned thing. If you're brave enough. Very well. We will start. I am curious to see just how long your courage will hold out. Alright, let's start off the Valor Morghulis Burger. First off, you want to get yourself some freshly ground 80-20. Always buy freshly ground beef if you can find it. That tube stuff, I mean, in a pinch, it's okay, but you kind of got to work with it more, and it's just... Get, some, get yourself some freshly ground beef. It just tastes a lot better and you'll save yourself some headaches. Why do you want 80-20? Well, you got to have some fat in your burger if you want a good juicy burger and not a eating a hockey puck. And why half pound patties? Well, it's the all men must die burger. We can't have no wimpy quarter pound patties with this one. Now, I'm not going to season the meat this time. All the seasoning will be directly on the part of the meat that comes in the contact with the grill. And we want to start off with some pepper. And when I say season this, I mean really season it. Don't worry, you're going to lose 30 to 35% of all the seasoning that you put on there every time you flip the burger. Now we're going to want some garlic powder and some celery salt. And, of course, onion powder. That's it for seasoning for the burger. Then, with a piping hot grill, and I mean piping hot, you want to take a paper towel soaked in peanut oil and drag that across the bars of the grates. The grill is so hot, the meat might stick, so just drag it across and your meat won't stick. Now, to the people that are concerned with things like grill marks, this helps with grill marks, but me personally, I don't give a sautéed rat's ass about grill marks. They're totally not my concern. Then we should be just about ready to put these burgers on the grill. They're going to take a little bit longer than your standard burgers. Why? Of course, they're thicker. Now, for me, I always keep the grate or the lid open when I'm cooking burgers on this because if you don't you typically get that balling effect and to avoid that keep the heat down so keep the lid open and while the burgers are cooking on the one side season the other side and like I said as before really season it don't worry you're gonna lose a bunch when you flip that burger Before we move much further, I would like to point out that not even the mighty Dragon Drogon could eat this. 
And look what he has for lunch. Do you wish to continue, young man? Very well. All right, let's give these patties a little bit of a flip here. Okay, now that the burgers are done, you want to take a slice of cheddar cheese. This is extra sharp New York style cheddar cheese and place it on top of the burger. Then take a slice of Swiss cheese and place that on top as well. And then close the lid and let the cheese melt for a minute. You also, at some point, want to get some bacon in a frying pan for this burger. Because what is an all-men-must-die burger without some bacon? Also, after the burgers are cooked, you want to grab some brats, because we're going to need some brats for this Valor Morghulis burger. Just a question. Are you still with me? Is your courage starting to wane yet? It's not. I'm surprised. Your courage is haughtier than most men. How do I know you're a man? Because any woman fades at the very mention of the Valor Morghulis burger. Hell, women are driven to madness just to gaze on it. No woman in the history of the world since the time of the first men would stand a chance against it. It is for men alone to challenge. Let the women worry about their fucking cheese and lemon cake. For Christ's sakes, there's a reason that this burger translates into all men must die. It's the all men must die burger. Not the all people must die burger or all the women must die burger. Women wouldn't have a prayer against it. To take this burger on and stand a chance, the faintest chance, you must have a penis. All right, how about we make up some buns for this Valor Morghulis burger? To make this burger, you're going to need three, yes, three grilled cheese sandwiches. Now, I really hate to bring this up, but this is it. I warn you, this is your last chance. After this, there is no going back. The food's been cooked and all that's left is assembly. Then you will have no choice but to look upon the damn thing and be driven mad. You have one last chance to save your sanity. Take it and leave. Leave. You're not gonna leave? Fine, very well. Look on it and be damned! Okay, to start construction of this, we're gonna need one of those three grilled cheese sandwiches as the bottom bun, and take one of those half pound patties and place it atop that. Then we're gonna need some help to make sure this burger doesn't collapse. We're gonna get that support in the form of these bamboo skewers. Now you can pick these up at pretty much any store anywhere in the country. You're gonna want two of them. Then you wanna take one of those brats and cut it lengthwise down and put one half on this skewer and then the other half upon the other skewer. Then of course we need some bacon to go on top of this. You wanna have about three full strips of bacon. Okay, then you wanna add some French's fried onions to this mix. And of course, what's a little bacon without some more bacon? Canadian bacon, that is. You wanna take two slices of Canadian bacon and lay them like this. Then take that second grilled cheese sandwich and place that on top of that. Then you wanna take another half pound burger and place that on top of that. Then you wanna take a brat and place that on top of the burger.
Then you want to take some more bacon and place it on top of that. Then Canadian bacon, and then finally, you probably won't be able to see it, but the final grilled cheese sandwich. Yes, look upon it. Look upon it, you wretched thing. So, you have survived with your sanity intact. I am shocked. You must be able to cut mountains with your urine alone. You must be a man among men. Could it be that you are the one Dave prophesized about? The burger born? The one whose fat is so great that not even the Valor Morghulis burger can stop it? Well, for my part, I've done what I can. Whatever awaits your stomach, young adventurer, is entirely up to you. I have faith that you may be the one to conquer the Valor Morghulis burger. I think, in my faintest hope of hope, you may be the Burger Boy.